This is Keep Calm and Mother On, a special series brought to you by Everyday Motherhood. And I am Christy Thomas. So that was my ukulele. Today is Friday, May 8th, and this is a very special episode of Keep Calm and Mother On. It's not related to social distancing at all, but it kind of is. <laughs> um, I don't know if you know this, but in 1984 in the United States, President Reagan declared that the Friday before Mother's Day would be known as Military Spouse Appreciation Day. As a military spouse and a fangirl of all military spouses, I wanted to take the space here on the platform that I get to take up. I'm merging together three posts that I've written the last couple of years on Facebook. Today is Military Spouse Appreciation Day. The actual military spouse crowd is divided on it, and most civilians have never even heard of it. Some feel like the spouses don't deserve a day because they don't put their own life actually on the line. And I'm here to say you're right. I didn't sign a blank check to the military for my own life in a call of patriotic duty. I did decide, though, I would be okay if I had to be a widow. I did decide that I could love wholehearted and parent well with no partner communication or backup. I did decide that I could keep my active duty member's world calm and safe and easy so he could be mission ready at all times. I did decide to mentor and lead in this community and show up at every duty station with my arms wide open. I know that I'm surrounded by the most amazing spouses from all walks of life that have wrestled with the same fears and chose to love anyways. We all started in different places, but we're here side by side, keeping the home fires burning. Thank you for inspiring me to do this military spouse thing well. So today, I chose gratitude, and I choose gratitude and appreciation for all the spouses who wave goodbye and wait and pray and love and know that no news is the best news. I hold special vigil for those that might also be active duty themselves or reservists. Those dual military families have taught me more than I could ever thank them for. So happy Military Spouse Appreciation Day. I know it's controversial, but I'm here for it. I'm here for all the military spouses and all the military families. I see you. And I thank you. And um, it's worth it. Love is worth it. Thank you to my village of military spouses for telling me to use the paper plates and to not make homemade tortillas. For checking out rentals for me on the other side of the country. For being an ear. For telling me it's tough for you too. For sitting with me outside a van with a rundown battery or outside my house late at night when I've locked myself out and my kids are asleep inside. For bringing me food when life went crazy, for Facebook messaging me, texting me from different time zones so we can stay friends easily. Even if I don't respond quickly, you still show up. Thank you for closing down parks and inviting us to play dates without ever really knowing us. Thank you for being my emergency contacts on forums, even though I've just met you or we've re-met after years apart. And thank you for asking me to be yours. Thank you for letting me meet your newborn in the hospital before your husband. Thank you for saying yes when I pushed in with a meal or a Starbucks or soap or a cookie. 
thank you for not seeing me as my husband's job, but thank you for seeing me, for letting me watch you thrive and rock this amazing life because your spouse heard the call of duty just like mine. You inspire me. You make this life look simple, not easy, and so very beautiful. Cheers. So cheers to you, to the spouse holding down another deployment or patrol, to the spouse who is holding down shift work, to the spouse who's in the middle of a move, even though all of the moves are paused, to the spouse who stays up late researching ways to make new friends, to the spouse who misses her best friends who are now all over the world, to the spouse who's in a foreign country, to the spouse who wakes in a panic over her kids having friends, to the spouse with an ill child who is thankful for TRICARE, to the spouse who miscarries or gives birth all alone, to the spouse who grieves alone and buries family or friends alone, to the spouse who just wants an email, to the spouse who lives with the PTSD of service, to the spouse who evacuated alone because of fires or hurricane, to the spouse that's exhausted from hunting for a new job because they've moved again, spouse who fosters and volunteers at each new duty station, leaving it better than when she arrived. Cheers to all of you military spouses. You are my team and I've got your back and I know you've gotten mine. You've you've gotten it so many times. Thank you. I hope you have an amazing day. You're awesome. Here's to you.